Hey guys, Ryan here. So today I'm going to be showcasing my entire One Piece collection. And that includes manga, anime, art books, figures, and more. So yeah, let's get started by looking at the figures first. Alright, so we got my very first figure that I got for One Piece. And I got this from a loot anime. The only ever loot anime that I ever got. And yeah, he has like a red helmet with a skull, a giant axe in the back. Um, yeah, he has like his straw hat, of course, his iconic straw hat. He has like a giant ribbon, a giant bow tie that is red and white that goes around his waist. And he's not wearing any shoes. So yeah, that is my very first figure and he likes to, he likes to fall apart really easily. Alright, and then the next figure we got here is of my Ben Presto Ace figure. And Ace is like one of my favorite characters from One Piece. He's Luffy's brother, and he's just really cool. He has like the flame flame fruit, devil fruit power. And yeah, he's pretty powerful. And yeah, he's part of the White Beard Pirates. He has the tattoo on the back, as you can see. And yeah, he has like a backpack, a weapon. A log pose, a wristband that like matches what Luffy's wearing around his waist, and he has detailing on his shoes. You can like see de detailing on his chest with a necklace, and yeah, he has like a, a brown hat with more of the, the red balls that go around. And he's just a really cool looking figure, and I'm definitely glad I got him. Alright, next we got is Sabo, and ASL means Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. So, yeah, I kind of got them in that direct order. So, we got Ace here, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, he likes to fall apart. Sabo here, and then Luffy here. So I'm just going to put Luffy back together real quick. So, yeah, he's very nicely detailed. He's holding a book, holding this big flag, jumping into the air with one knee forward. He has a white scarf with a blue shirt and a black jacket. And he has a backpack with a snail phone, a note, sunglasses, and more in his backpack like charts, I'm guessing, or maps, or maybe treasure. Alright, I'm just going to move these figures out of the way. Alright, and then next we got here is of Luffy again, and this time he has his shirt draped over his shoulder, and he has his straw hat, he has like the Battle scars, and there's gonna be spoilers in this video, by the way, about One Piece, so just be warned. Um, yeah, so he has his battle scars after the Paramount War. He has his blue shorts, yellow bandana around his waist. He's got his sandals that he's wearing. And yeah, I remember seeing like an interview with Oda, and he was also wearing like the same sandals. So that was cool to see. And then next we got is Nami and I just found her pistol. It was behind all my One Piece manga. I lost it for like the longest time. But um, yeah, this figure is really nice. She has like orange flowing hair. She has a skirt, a red shirt, and yeah, brown boots. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This likes to fall out from her hand. It won't stay there all the time. And yeah, we have her brown hat. And she's like a full-on cowgirl. So yeah, she looks really nice. And she has like earrings. She's winking. And yeah, nice figure. Alright, so next I got is another Luffy here. And, yeah, he's actually pretty tall. And, yeah, he's wearing his 20th anniversary robes. It's awesome. One Piece has been around for so long. 
and he has his shoes, his sandals, he's wearing like a purple button down shirt on the inside with a black tie and there's gold and everything, gold and red and it looks really nice. Alright, next we got is Zoro, my favorite One Piece character and he is the Three Swordsman, Rorono Zoro. And yeah, in the in the manga, it's actually he's actually called Zolo. But in Japan it's Zoro and I go with Zoro as well for him. And yeah, he has his three swords and he's just as tall as Luffy here pretty much. And might be a little bit taller. And he has like his black bandana that he's tying around his head. And he looks awesome. His figures are really nice. They are King of the Artists Band Presto figures. And what's great about Band Presto is that they're affordable, they, they're well detailed, and they look great. Alright, so we got One Piece Color Walk 2 here. And I love Oda's illustrations in color. I think there's like eight or more of these that you can get. And I like how everybody's like brushing their teeth and Luffy's just chowing down on a piece of a fish. So, yeah, I've flipped through this before, and yeah, it's, it's a great art book. It's got like Laboon, Smoker, Buggy. We got all the crew with the Going Merry, on the Going Merry. We have like the Giants. Yeah, this just goes through all through one piece, all the different illustrations, and it's just really nice. You get one piece flavor of sand. That's pretty cool. I spotted Vivi there. We got like all the barrack work agents, including Nico Robin, aka All Sunday. And yeah, the fight with um Mr. One with Zoro is like so epic. So what's cool about this is that when you open it up, it's one continuous image. So that's pretty neat. All right, and then next we got here is One Piece Color Walk Compendium. And this is Water 7 to Paramount War. So yeah, just gonna open this up, show you guys some of what's inside here. Alright, so we have a really cool poster inside here. As you can see. So that's awesome. And that just folds right up. And yeah, let's take a look inside. So, yeah, One Piece is like my favorite manga series of all time. And yeah, I got into it in 2017. Wow, these are amazing. And yeah, I've been into One Piece ever since. I've known about One Piece ever since I was like a little kid, but I wasn't huge into it or anything. I didn't watch it, I didn't read it. Showed off in my very first Shonen Jump magazine. And yeah, I wasn't really about the art style or anything, but then over time that changed and I now I absolutely adore it. And it's my favorite manga series of all time now. And my favorite book series ever. And yeah, I can't wait until we get box set four for One Piece. I have box sets one to three. And yeah, these are awesome. I love all these illustrations. Oda is definitely an amazing artist and storyteller. So yeah, that is my art books. And this has one image. So when you open it up like this, you can see it's one big image, one big illustration. All right, so next we got is all my One Piece movies. So. One Piece Film Gold, that's the latest One Piece movie that I've seen. It's not the latest in the whole 
series of movies, but um, I thought it was entertaining. There was like Casino Night there, and it was like this casino um, island, and like the main villain, he had like these gold powers where he could like use them against people. It's a life or death gamble. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gran Tercero, the world's greatest entertainment city where anyone can strike it rich, stroll through our luxurious casinos, place your bets on thrilling races, or enjoy a, a ride in one of our top of the line turtle mobiles. The world is your oyster in the ocean of gold, and don't mind the beggars gambling debt should be of no concern for our VIP guests. Please, won't you join us in a little game of dice? You've got nothing to lose. The Straw Hats are out again in an all-new high-flying adventure, a gripping tale unfolds in this spectacular city of Grand Tessero, where Luffy and his crew are drawn by dreams of hitting the jackpot. With so much luck, Luffy's winning streak can't possibly end. But behind the glided curtain lies a powerful king whose deep pockets and deeper ambitions spell disaster for all. So that's pretty interesting. And I thought the movie was definitely entertaining. Alright, next we got is One Piece Film Z. And this cover is awesome. Here's the back. Nothing short of superb. The Straw Hats face their toughest opponent ever in the latest theatrical adventure from one of the world's most beloved franchises. When Luffy and his crew rescue a drowning man, they have no idea what manner of evil they just welcomed aboard. The mysterious stranger turns out to be the former Marine Admiral Zapir, a rampaging madman with a devastatingly deadly right arm called Battle Smasher, better known as Z. The grief-crazed harbinger of doom is heck-bent on using the destructive power of the Dynastones to destroy the new world. So that is definitely interesting. So yeah, that's the second One Piece movie that I own. And here's the third, One Piece Strong World. There's like all these giant monsters. And yeah, it says there's going to be a rumble in the jungle in an original One, One Piece movie written by creator Ichiro Oda. When the Straw Hats catch wind of trouble in the peaceful waters of the East Blue, they quickly set course for home. But before they reach their destination, fate leads them into the deadly path of Golden Lion Shiki. This gravity-defying mamma needs a navigator, and he wants Nami. So, yeah, that sounds really interesting. I need to rewatch these. They're all great movies. And by far my favorite um, anime movie of all time is One Piece Stampede. And this is my first One Piece movie that I've seen in the theater, and I really enjoyed it. Celebration of the Legacy of One Piece. The 20th anniversary movie that trampled box office records. The world's boldest buccaneers set sail for the Great Pirate Festival, where the strides join a mad dash race to find Goldie Rogers' treasure. There's just one little problem. An old member of Rogers' crew has a sinister score to settle. I remember watching the behind the scenes on this, and like, there's some amazing voice actors in One Piece. And yeah, I know the voice actor who voices Zoro also voices Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. And Super. So yeah, I love this cover. It's like, all colorful and whatnot. And then we have the actual Blu-ray. And yeah, this comes with like a digital copy as well, so that's nice. So yeah, that is all the figures, the anime, my art books, and now we can take a look at the actual manga. All right, so we're gonna start looking at the manga. So we got volume one. And yeah, this is the very first volume, and it's called Romance Dawn. And you've got Luffy, Nami, Zoro, Seagulls, and everything. And yeah, when you open this up, you get the manga where it starts off with Luffy as a little kid who like um, injures himself, and that's how he gets that scar beneath his eye. And then he accidentally eats the devil fruit and he gets rubber over powers. And then he can't swim anymore. And yeah, Shanks gives him the hat when he's really young, the straw hat. 
and yeah, Shanks, you know, saves Luffy, loses his arm. So then Shanks sets off on his own journey, and then Luffy does the same. And he's trying to obtain a, a pirate crew and become king of the pirates. So yeah, that's volume one. And I love how like um like three D the art can be, like when Luffy's like stretching his arm out, you can really feel like how um like three D that is. And yeah, we got volume two, we got Buggy and his men, and yeah, Luffy is like all stretchy. And yeah, in this town Buggy is like, you know, destroying the town and like the the mayor of the town wants to go, you know, defend his town and everything and and Buggy's like a real problem. So yeah, Luffy and Zoro meet and, and then they meet Nami along the way. And yeah, and there's like this one part where um Luffy like takes out one of Buggy's men. And yeah, I absolutely love One Piece for sure. And like all the volumes are super colorful and fun. And yeah, we got volume three, we got Luffy and Zoro. Very cool. Yeah, it's like red robes with gold. So yeah, this is the East Blue arc of One Piece. We got volume four here. And we have the butler and Django and the butler's men. And they're basically trying to get Kaya's fortune. And this is where you meet Usopp. And they have to defend the, the little town. And Usopp is known as the town liar. Like every morning he pretends like pirates are attacking. And then all the neighbors are really upset about that. Because it's like disrupting their morning. And yeah, we got Usopp here, Kaya, Usopp's, you know, pirate crew. And we got Luffy, Nami. And we got Luffy on the back looking some ice cream. He definitely loves food. And then we got volume six. And I like how they're all wearing black outfits. And that looks really nice. There's like a cat there. And yeah, a lot and a little happens in One Piece. And I think there's like 95 or so volumes out now. I have volumes 1 to 70 so far. And I'm waiting until um, Box Set 4 comes out to, to get any more. And they definitely have enough volumes for it because each box set um, has 23 volumes. And the last box set had up to volume 70. So we got Sanji. And then we got Luffy, there's like a shark eating a piece of meat. And yeah, I remember like the fights at the Bear T arc of One Piece was really cool. Like Mihawk shows up and fights Zoro. And Zoro, you know, he says that he'll he'll never lose again to another swordsman. And yeah, we got like um so we have this guy, Don Krieg, and his men and his underlings, and his main underling fights Sanji, and yeah, Luffy's fighting Don Krieg, and we get Sanji's backstory. We got Luffy eating a piece of meat right there, and then we got volume nine. We got Nami's backstory, which is really emotional, and her mother dies. And, um, yeah, Arlong is, like, running this town for a really long time. And now he's, like, trying to obtain a fortune to pay off Arlong and his fellow pirates. So they'll leave the town forever. Even though Arlong probably wouldn't leave no matter what. He'll just take all the money and keep running this town for, for evil, basically. And, yeah, we got, like, Luffy, Zoro... Usopp, Sanji, and it's epic when they're like walking to Arlong Park, all of them, and they fight the fishermen, 
who are really strong and especially strong underwater. We got Luffy with a, a fish who has a mustache. And then we got volume 10. We got Arlong and his fellow fishermen. And there's like that sea cow. We got Luffy. And yeah, when Luffy takes out um, Arlong, it, it's so epic. So we got volume 11 here. And yeah, we got Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Nami, and Usopp. And yeah, there's like, oh yeah, here it is. So we have Arlong Park being destroyed by Luffy himself. So that was pretty epic. Alright, and then next we got is volume 12, and this is the very first volume of Barrack Works. And this is Logue Town or Rogue Town. And this is where you first meet Smoker and Toshigi. And Zoro kind of has his past. And this woman named Toshigi looks just like this girl that he that he used to know. And she's also a swordsman. So that's he like so that's like even more confusing for Zoro. And they're all running away. There's like a bunch of treasure and everything. And then we got volume 13 with the Barrack Work agents. We got Phoebe in disguise there. She's really a princess of Alabasta. And there was definitely a lot of build up in this arc. Like the finale in, in it was so epic. And yeah, we'll get there in a few volumes here. So we got Mr. Three and the girl who can paint. And yeah, there's like this island of giants. And Usopp is inspired by the giants to, um, to be a brave warrior of the sea. And next we got is volume 15. So yeah, Usopp is all inspired. And we got Luffy there. And it's fun seeing these two battle against each other. They've been battling for hundreds of years. And yeah, they have like their own island where they're originally from. And yeah, we haven't seen that yet at One Piece. All right, and then next we got it's volume 16 with Chopper's backstory with the doctor. And that was emotional and sad. And that's how he like learned to be a doctor. So we got volume 16 here. And this is like the Drum Island arc with with Wapple and his underlings. And yeah, we got Chopper. And it's kind of comedic. He likes to like hide, but like hide in the opposite direction where you can see him peering over a corner. Even though he's trying to hide, but he's not hiding at all. It's pretty funny. And Wapple is pretty funny too because he likes to eat boats, houses, you name it. He eats it. And he can like um, transform. So yeah, there's like an avalanche that happens. And Luffy saves Sanji. Okay. Make it to the, the doctor. And yeah. The um, the cherry blossoms part is really emotional for 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 Chopper. So yeah, here it is. Go on, you foolish boy. And then Chopper's all crying. Beautiful moment in One Piece. And then we got volume 18. This is the first time you're seeing Ace. And we got Nami, Luffy, Vivi. And this is like the Alabasta arc. I'm just looking for my kid brother. I remember um, they were like in the bar and people thought Ace was dead, but he was just asleep. Like asleep laying in his food, like face first. And then like Smoker goes into this place. Luffy runs in there. And it's like all this madness happening in this little restaurant. Pretty, pretty hilarious. And then we got volume 19, and things start getting interesting with the barrack work agents. Like, one can just, can transform and disguise themselves 
as the king, and they kidnapped the king of Alabasta, and Alabasta hasn't had rain in years. So, yeah, and there's that crocodile who's pretending to be a good guy, but he's really a bad guy running all the barrack work agents. And, yeah, there's some, like, really cool fights with Zoro versus Mr. One versus Still. Like, that was epic. So, yeah, this is volume 20. And then we got volume 21. And what's cool about this is that it's one image. We got the bad guys and the good guys. And I can see Nico Robin there, who starts off as an enemy. So that's pretty interesting. And then here's the back. With Luffy jumping forward into the water even though he can't swim because Devil Fruit users can't swim. And then we got volume 22 here. And we have Vivi, Karu, the camel. And there's the back of that. Alright, and then we got volume 23 here with Vivi, Zoro, Luffy, Usopp, Nami, Chopper, and Sanji. And this is the, the final volume of Barrack Works. Thick volume here. And yeah, that's the first box of that. Alright, so next we got is volume 24 of One Piece, and this is the very first volume of Skypea. And this is like Skypea and the Jaya arc, where we first meet Bellamy, the two monkey brothers, Nico Robin, she's on our side now, she joined the pirate crew, and um, yeah, like, I'm gonna talk about um, the finale, like, it's so epic in this. And he beats Crocodile and everything, and there's rain, and that finally appears. And yeah, it's just an epic ending to, like, one of the bigger arcs in One Piece. So, um, next we got is Volume 24. And yeah, I talked about the characters on the front here. And we got the back with Vivi and Luffy. And this is, like, the beginning of Skypea. So yeah, that's volume 24. Next we got is volume 25. We got Shanks, Buggy, Blackbeard, the first time you're seeing Blackbeard, Luffy, and a goat eating money. So yeah, when when Whitebeard and Shanks like meet, it's pretty epic. So we got volume 26, this is when they make it into Skypea. And there's like that old lady that lets them through. And there's like a sign that says heaven. And there's this um, villain named Enaru or Enel. And yeah, he has priests that work for him. And yeah, so we got volume 27. And here are the priests. They have their own challenge. I remember he fought with Chopper, um, Luffy, Sanji, and like Usopp fought against this guy. And yeah, like Zoro fought this guy, I believe. Luffy has wings. They have a funny greeting in Skypea where they say um, a certain word, like hello, but it means a belly button. And yeah, here's the back with them all running. And I recognize this. Shot from One Piece opening 6. Nico Robin's like on a pig. And yeah, I would love to own all the One Piece compendiums. It's great that we're getting these big compendiums with the artwork of One Piece because One Piece artwork is amazing. So next we got is volume 28. And we got the Shandians and the Skypeans. And there's that conflict there. And they're trying to take out Enaru. And yeah, and then next we got is volume 29, and we got Conus, the old god of Skypea, the giant snake, and they're known as gods themselves. And yeah, thick volume here. And then we got volume 30 with Enaru and Luffy, and Enaru's attacks, most of his attacks can't really do anything to Luffy because he has rubber rubber powers. And 
yeah, he gets like um, gold and he has like this huge weight stuck to Luffy. But um, in the end, he, um, he takes out Eneru. What did you do to my crew? Which pieces of garbage are you referring to? All right, and then next we got is volume 31. This is the Shanians and Nolan's ancestor um, kind of story. So, yeah, this is like the, um, the last volume of Skypea, and it's really emotional. These two aren't friends at first, but they make friends, and then they never see each other again. So, so yeah, we have volume 31 here. Sanji is like making ramen for everybody, including some wars. Okay, so next we got is volume 32. This is the very first volume of Water 7. Water 7 and any lobby are my favorite arcs so far of One Piece. I haven't read all of One Piece. I'm not caught up with it either in watching it or reading it. But when Box Set 4 comes out, hopefully it, that's a thing that'll happen. Um, then I will continue doing that and reading that and making reviews for every arc of One Piece that I read. So yeah, we have volume 32 here with the one bird that can only fly south. Usopp's about to fall off. They have this octopus that's slowly letting out air that's bringing them down to the ocean because they were in the clouds before with Skypea. And then we got volume 33. We got the Foxy Foxy Pirates. And this is like a fun little arc on the, I think it was called Long Land, something like that. And yeah, like there's like this epic moment where Zoro's like, be a man, Chopper, when Chopper's like crying and stuff, when he's gonna be like um, traded for um, to be on the Foxy Pirates crew and they want to like win him back and yeah he likes to cheat he can like slow things down but Luffy um, beats him so yeah that's volume 33 alright next we got is volume 34 and we have the CP9 members and the shipwrights that are actually CP9 members besides him even the assistant is a CP9 member and yeah, we have Iceberg. And Water 7 is really cool because it's like a city where there's like boats and there's like water that's high. And yeah, it's just a really cool city and a really cool location. They got like the the um, the train, like the Water 7 train that goes on water with a train track that goes to Eni's lobby. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's volume 34, and this goes into Nico Robin's past. We'll, we'll get to there. But um, yeah, we have volume 35. This is the first time you're seeing Frankie and his men. And Usopp tries to get the money back that was stolen, and he gets beaten up pretty bad. And Usopp like, leaves the crew temporarily, and we have volume 35 there. And then we got volume 36, and we got all the CP9 members, and they're trying to assassinate Iceberg because he has a map. Um, he has like blueprints to an island destroyer, and the government wants that. And Frankie's backstory is also emotional. That's a kind of a theme with the backstories in One Piece. They're all pretty emotional, which ties you into the story. So we got volume 37 here, one of my favorite covers. We got Frankie, Iceberg, and their past, the Water 7 train. We got Luffy, Chopper, Nami, Zoro, and Water 7, the city, island. And then we got volume 38. And they're on this train trying to save Nico Robin. We got the Sniper King and his song, which is really entertaining. So yeah, that's volume 38. We got the mermaid. And yeah. And then next we got is volume 39. 
and yeah, there's like some fights that are happening on the train. Like Sanji fights this cook. And then next we got is volume 40. We got the giants and they're all fighting. And Luffy, this is the first time you're seeing gear powers. And Luffy fights him. And yeah, there's like a lot that happens in this arc. I love the art style for One Piece. I love the stories in between. Like um, with the chapter breaks. Let's see if I can find one. Like this. So we have like characters that you haven't seen in a while that show up. And there's like a little description that kind of says what's going on and kind of gives you an idea. And then there's also this SBS, which is like a Q&A with Oda. And that's pretty fun. And then we got volume 42 with the CP9 members all revealed. And things definitely get interesting in Water 7 and Annie's Lobby. All right, next we got is volume 43. We got Chopper going kind of like berserk. Frankie is helping out. We got Usopp, Zoro, Nami, Sanji. And we got like a gorilla on the back there. All right, next we got is volume 44. We got Luffy. And then, so we have the main member of CP9, Rob. And yeah. Getting into like the the fights between these two, and also um, I think it was a volume 41. That's when we're getting Nico Robin's backstory. So yeah, that's that's it for Water Seven. I have volume 45, but it I don't know where it went. So I'll have to find that. Um, anyways, we're on through our bark here with volume 46. This is where you're first meeting Brooke. There's this island with zombies and like this woman that hates, who's also kind of a zombie who hates plates and throws them at Usopp. And like there's a part where Luffy thinks this zombie is like an injured old man, even though he's a zombie. So yeah, this is a fun little arc. It's like four volumes long. And there's like this one villain with, um, that tries to steal everybody's shadows and they can like put shadows inside zombies. Like there's this gigantic zombie. So we got volume 47 here. And yeah, there's like the main villain. We got one of the warlords, Perona. This pig woman who was trying to marry him. And then we got Luffy wearing armor. I like this cover. And then we got the back there with Nico Robin. The sword, that's pretty cool. And then we got volume 48, and this is what I'm talking about, the giant monster that has Luffy's shadow. And they're trying to get Brooke's shadow back, and there's like the swordsman. And like all the shadows kind of embody um, what the person's like personality was like. Like there's a, um, a zombie walking around that's acting like Zoro, there's a giant one acting like Luffy. And then Luffy like sucks up all these souls like all these shadows, and then he like powers up and turns blue. So yeah, I love that. Love that back um, illustration. And then Nami's like wearing a bride's outfit and she doesn't want to get married to this guy who can turn invisible. And then next we got is volume 50 and this is the very first volume of Sabody. And this is like an island with bubbles and bubble machines, like bubble vehicles. And then we got Brooke and Luffy and they're all like jumping around. And then next we got is volume 51 and there's like a bunch of different outlaws and, and pirates on this island. Um, the Celestial Dragons and they treat people like crap basically. And yeah, Luffy like punches one. There's this mermaid and she is like going to be sold to the Celestial Dragons and Luffy isn't having that. And this is Relay and Luffy learns hacky from him. So yeah, pretty cool. 
and then we got volume 53 and this is like the island of women and like Kuma shows up and he teleports all the strats to different islands and this is where Luffy shows up and we got Bo Hancock who has a crush on Luffy and yeah that's volume 53 all right, so we got volume 54 here, and this is the first volume of Impel Down. And Luffy's trying to save his older brother Ace from being ex executed. And yeah, we got like the Warden, and the people that work in Impel Down. And there's like this one floor where it's like, it's like heaven for, for the inmates. And yeah, that was kind of funny. All right, next we got is volume 55. We got Mr. Three, Bon Clay, um, Luffy, Ace in the background, who isn't looking too good. And then we got them in an elephant kind of thing, and they're all eating and hanging out. All right, next we got is volume 56. We got um, Eva, I believe their name is. We got Jimbe, Crocodile, Mr. One, Luffy, and then the back there. All right, so next we got is volume 59. And yeah, this is the Paramount War. And yeah, it's kind of sad. Ace and Whitebeard pass away. And Blackbeard stills Whitebeard's power. Shanks shows up, Jinbei's there, La, Rescues Luffy, and yeah, it gets pretty pretty heated. With, like the Marines that are there, the Admirals that are there, and Luffy's trying to save his brother. So yeah, epic stuff that happens for sure. We got volume 58. This is what I'm talking about with the Admirals. Luffy has like part of a ship. Let me get the back. Alright, then we got volume 60 with Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. Their backstory with Relay. We got Luffy's dad. So yeah, it's volume 60. And then we got one of my favorite covers ever. And we got volume 61. And this is like two years later after the Paramount War events that happened. And yeah, we got Zoro, Usopp, Sanji, Frankie, Chopper. Brooke, Nico Robin. So yeah. So yeah, I wanted to show this. So we got One Piece Volume 1 and One Piece Volume 61. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, this is two years later. Luffy learns hacky with Relay. And the um, the characters look different. Usopp gets strong. And yeah, they just like they all learn different things. All right, next we got is the Fisherman Island arc. With volume 62. Love that. It's like the moon and they're like in a forest in that illustration. All right, and then next we got is volume 63. And yeah, we got Zoro, the mermaid, the mermaid's mother. The shark. And we got volume 64, and this is awesome. All the straw hats together in one place again. And we got volume 65, and we got Hody Jones who fights against Zoro and like loses. So we got this character who is trying to kill the princess. And then we got volume 66. And this is a fun cover. We got Toshigi, Luffy, Jimbei, Smoker, and more characters. And we got volume 67. And this is the Punk Hazard arc that, that's in one piece. And yeah, there's like this one villain who has like poisonous powers and you see Law's powers in use, his Devil Fruit powers. This is volume 68. And we got volume 69. And yeah, we got Zoro, Toshigi, 
smoker, the sick children who are eating candy, but it's making them more sick. And yeah, I can't wait to um to get more One Piece. I it looks like Wayno is gonna be a great arc. And yeah, it looks like a really cool place they're going to. We get Don Flamingo, I believe his name is, and we got La, Nami Usopp. And yeah, that's the last volume I have. But I also have Ace's side story. And there's a second novel for this. But I love how reflective this is and everything. And it's Ace's story. I love this cover. It's, it's awesome. All right, lastly, I want to show my Lego Going Merry Ship right here. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Fun build. And this is like a knockoff of Lego. But um, yeah, it turned out to be really good. Minifigures are all great. The characters, the straw hats that you get with this are awesome. And yeah, that's the Going Merry. All right, so here's the Thousand Sunny. And I like the front of this ship. It's got like a steering wheel. And yeah, it's just really nice set. This opens up, it closes. And yeah, that's everything in my One Piece collection so far. So yeah, um, I, yeah, I really love One Piece. It's my favorite manga series. And I can't wait to read more and collect more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. And until next time, peace.